The process of adapting the Youth Advocacy Guide to our trainings has been extremely interesting. So what we did is we took the amazing resource that is the Youth Advocacy Guide and training materials developed by UNICEF headquarters and we adapted them to the South African context and we incorporated nutrition and mental health components. My name is Amir Bagheri. I am the volunteer program and campaigning officer for UNICEF South Africa. Now that we have trained over 350 UNICEF volunteers with youth advocacy training, we like to see them go back to their communities and use the advocacy tools and resources we have given them to start pursuing community and social development in their respective community, specifically within health and nutrition issues. In all that I've learned, I could go back to my respective community and be an agent of change because it's never enough for you to just learn for yourself. You don't only learn for the sake of improving your own life, but you learn so that you could be able to go out there and educate other people as well. I am much more empowered to actively be an agent of change in, in, in regards to mental health. So far, we have implemented the training four times across the country. My favorite part about implementing these trainings has been the interactions with the young people. We have had so many in-depth discussions with them about nutrition policy, mental health policy, nutrition issues, mental health issues in their communities for themselves. And we have learned about what they prioritize, what is important to them, and what they think they can do about it. It's taught us as young people that we don't have to wait for our elders, like wait for our parents to act on our behalf or our teachers. We can advocate issues by ourselves. We can do anything. As long as we, we are able to stand together and do something, there's nothing impossible. We can achieve anything. Mental health is very important. As a young advocate, you need to take care of your mental health. Nutrition, what we eat as well. You need to watch what you eat. Be healthy, be active. We've learned that how to structure a narrative um, for campaigning. Um, and the second one would be at learning more about policy. Um, and then how to engage with stakeholders for campaigning, sharing personal stories, and creating narrative structures based on advocacy framework. from the program, um, advocacy itself, the planning and what goes into it, and networking, because you know, I feel like most people, we come across injustices that we want to change, but we don't know what to do. In terms of networking, I'm already sifting through the context that I have from church, home, in my community, and how to approach them also, because that's one of the things we learned. So this is a very fantastic program, and I think we should have more of these.